Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I'm doing a collab video with the beautiful Bella from Beauty on the Budget. And we are doing some of our uh, trusty favorites, I guess you could say. Some favorites that, you know, we have used in the past and just pulling some, some old favorites out. So, and it's a get ready with me. So if you guys want to stick around and join me in getting ready with me with some of my trusty old favorites, keep on watching. Okay, so I am joining with Bella, Beauty on a Budget. She contacted me, asked me to, you know, join her in a get ready with me. And she said about maybe bringing out some uh, old favorites, you know, items that we haven't used for a while, but they have been products that have worked for us and really, you know, um, have are our favorites still, like just because we don't use them. Uh, sometimes we put stuff off to the side and there you pull them back out and you know, there's still some of your favorites. Some of mine might be limited edition. I will apologize for that, but they did end up being some products that I really liked a lot and I haven't Put, pulled them out in a while so yeah or some are discontinued let me just tell you about Bella I have known Bella for a good while now honestly Bella is one of those people that I consider a good kind hearted uh, good soul you know she's very loving to everybody she's very dear hearted one of my favorite things when I'm watching her and she's sharing something with you that laugh that she gets going I always chuckle and laugh and giggle along with her because you know she just has that wonderful personality please go check Bella if you do not know Bella never met her and you never seen her channel I know majority of people have and most do know her but her channel name is beauty on a budget and I want to put a link down below to her video so yes please go check her out show her some love subscribe if you like but as always, I know you're not going to be disappointed. She is such a lovely woman. All right, let's get into this Get Ready With Me. One of my uh, trusty products that I use as a primer is my Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This has always been a really good primer for me. And it's not, it does have silicone in it, but it never feels like you're putting like some of, you know how some of them primers, you really feel the slick of the dimethicone and silicone and everything this one doesn't really have that it feels more like a gel kind of a some form of a moisturizer that you put on your on your face my husband brought me some water next thing I'm gonna put on I only have two primers eye primers that I mostly use one's Lorac I actually pull out another wet n wild product and this is the uh, photo focus eyeshadow primer and I really like this primer. It is almost pretty much like a dupe for my beloved Lorac. I'm hoping that sun's not going to be a problem because, you know, like there's a tree there and usually it blocked out any sunlight um, due to the tree branches, you know, the tree, the leaves on the tree, I mean. And, you know, now that we lost all those leaves, uh, I think it's trying to glare up in here. So I will apologize for that. Okay, so a eyeshadow palette that I pulled out and it is, it was a limited edition is the Anastasia World Traveler palette. I pulled this out. I really could not put this down when it first came out. And it was one, it might've been the first um, palette that I actually got for um, from Anastasia that got me started into loving her eyeshadows as you could probably see some of the dips in there and everything and this one I think would be great for if you're you know with I picked it because I thought it'd be great whenever you know the holidays Christmas coming up and everything this um, especially like that pink champagne some of these you can get in singles so I'm not sure of all of them I know there's certain colors in here that I'm looking at right now. I know you can get in single eyeshadows. I'm going to first dip into the soft peach shade right here on the end. And I like to put that on after my eye primer just to set everything a little bit to get ready to blend my eyeshadows on so they go in a little bit more smoothly for me. That's 
pretty much what I've always learned to do now. And it does work really good. I don't have to feel like I'm dragging my, my eyeshadow brush along. This Morocco shade, honestly, and I do know you can get that in a single, and it is one of my favorite eyeshadows from her, the color. And I always constantly would be dipping into it like I am now to start off with and using uh, any of my eyeshadow looks. It was like Morocco was my first shade I would go right into. So that's what we're going to do here. And I'm not even sure what look I'm doing yet. I probably will use the pink champagne, I have a feeling. I'm telling you what, that pink champagne is gorgeous. I think anybody can get away with it. I know when you first look at it, it looks a little bit scary, maybe. Tomorrow, I have my niece coming. She, her son's into hockey. He's actually played, my uh, great nephew has played hockey since he was three, three years of age. And he's 13, almost 14. No, I think he's 14 now. 13 or 14. I'm trying to remember. But I have two little visitors here. I popped in to say, hello. <laughs> I don't get them that often, but when I do, it's like, oh, really? The next color I'm going to dip into, which was a color I always seem to dip into a lot, was the fudge. And you probably have heard a lot of people talk about her color fudge I'm not sure how well my lighting is doing there we go fudge right there i'm gonna put that a little more tighter in in my crease area to define the eyes and i think i am going to use obviously my little pink champagne color i'm just gonna do the seven number seven that a lot of people say like a backwards number seven and I just bring it in a little bit sometimes that's I'm dipping back into Morocco and I'm going to work that back up in through a little bit do you guys shop on like the day after or the day after Thanksgiving the Black Friday or do you do the shopping actually like right after your Thanksgiving dinner I'm going to dip back into fudge a little bit more. Beginning of the Black Friday, as they call it. I, I don't even know if you can call it Black Friday anymore, in a sense, because, you know, they're starting to get earlier and earlier, if you notice, with some of these sales and everything. Personally, for me, I would rather spend time with my family at, um, at home, just eating my dinner and then relaxing. A lot of times we'll watch you know, like Christmas with the Cranks or one of the Christmas movies to get, you know, kind of get you into it some more. My niece, honestly, on Black Friday especially, she loves it. I mean, she loves to go out to them stores and go shopping on a Black Friday. I did it once. <laughs> I was like, never again. My mom and I, we just, we were like, no, never again. But I am going to dip into my uh, pink champagne. And it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I mean, it has such beautiful, look at that. It is such a beautiful, like, sparkle to it. I think would be perfect I'm going to use my finger with it a little bit right there because I had that on my finger and started off, but it just has this beautiful sparkle to it and I think would be perfect, you know, for the holiday. Just perfect. I could do the wet look if I wanted to. Maybe I'll try that. Just to add a little more something. Another thing I got my boxy charm and I'm loving it is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I'm really liking that. It has a nice fine mist and then spritz. Then a spritz a spritz. Maybe I'll give a nice illuminating. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so much more prettier even yet. 
Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, I am really liking that Cover FX Illuminating Spray. I don't need to dip any more into fudge. I'm just going to use the brush I was using and blend it in just a little bit. Because her, like I said, her shadows are very pigmented. Like around the brow, brow bone area. I'm going to dip back into the soft peach shade and work that up and through there. I don't, like if I have shimmer on my eyelids, I don't tend to put shimmer up and through there too much once in a while, but if I'm wearing more all matte colors, if I have shimmer on my eyelid, I don't, I don't for the most part anyway, um, put any kind of shimmer by the brow bone area. Now for my top line, I've been just using my Fierce Flicks uh, from uh, Cartier or how you pronounce that. It came in a kit set that I got, uh, eyeshadow set, so I'm just going to use that. And honestly, this has become my favorite eyeliner for in that area. It really has. It, I think I ended up discovering that I like a liner that dries more matte there. You know how some can look really wet. I'm finding I'm liking the more matte approach. A trusty and, and goody and old goody and always will be is Mally Beauty Evercolor. Um, her Starlight Evercolor eyeshadow or eyeliners. Hers are exceptionally great for me to tie a line with and even to put in the waterline. I just love them. She has a fun silver one. It's called Platinum. I'm going to use in my waterline area. I thought that would be fun to work with this look that I did. Okay, favorite mascara. I don't want to pull out no other new mascaras out, but I've actually really been enjoying the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and I got this in a set. Also, <laughs> I get sets from QVC and I love it. I have really been loving it. And I know it's one of their most popular uh, mascaras as it is, you know, from, from Tarte. I haven't tried the Superhero. I still want to try that from it. Take another drink. I am parched, parched, parched. Yeah, I'm going to add two coats. I don't like to add no more than two for some. Now I'm going to start getting ready to do the concealer. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is a trusty good old favorite for me for under my eyes. If I was on a, on a budget, I wouldn't have to worry because they're not so expensive. And I'm going to use this little sponge that came in my little... Um, and it's dirty, it needs clean, but Physicians Formula, I have a concealer from them. Oh my goodness, that is such a gorgeous concealer too. I would have used it, but I thought I'm going to use a trusty old True concealer that I really love a lot. I like this little pointed tip here. It works great right there. I don't know. I'll have to look and see what they have in the stores. I don't want to spend a fortune on some of those sponges. I don't know. I just can't find myself like $20 for a sponge. Another part of a concealer I'm going to use is Laura Geller. This was her Dreams Dreams Cream Dreams Cream Concealer. And I have always loved it too. It came in like a bunch of swirl, swirling colors and it's another one that's really good. And I like to sometimes just add a little extra there. One of my favorite setting setting powder powders for the eye is the e.l.f. High Definition Eye Setting Powder. If I can spit it out. I, I love this one. And I love using the Sigma. This one's a Sigma F86 with the pointed tip. I love using that. 
to dab along there and kind of set this set it and brighten it even more. I don't know, it just always has worked for me. I haven't had no problems with it. For my trusty foundation, I do a smooth fit me foundation. I love this stuff. It's really good. It does not it isn't one that is like a medium to full. You kind of have to build it up. I would say it's more light to medium, if anything. My shade is an ivory, 115 ivory. I'm a very fair gal, so we're going to go ahead and shake that up. Shake it up. Ooh, ooh, shake it up. I'm going to use this, one of these. That I got this one. It is the crown uh, oval shape brush. I got it in one of my BoxyCharm. I'll tell you what, that BoxyCharm... Uh, subscription I am loving I set that just a little bit I usually set my whole when I do my foundation the Revlon nearly naked pressed powder it's one of my trusty favorites that I've used I still I'm trying to use it up it's like forever that's what, kind of why I've never really bought too much of another setting power. Let's take bronzer. I'm going to pull this out and I really love this bronzer and it is actually from the company Bourgeois and my in-laws had sent this one to me. It actually has a scent to it that does smell almost like cocoa maybe. It's a really pretty shade and I have used this brush already in there. I'm going to do a little contouring on my nose. This is pretty much probably what I would do if I was getting ready for part. If I'm just getting ready to go out, I wouldn't always do this. I'm doing all this because like this is what I would do if I was getting ready for something like, you know, the Christmas party or holiday party or Thanksgiving party or any of those kind of things, New Year's. Need another drink. Okay, then next, I like to always add on my highlighter first a lot of times and then blend in my blush. I kind of got in the habit of that lately. I'm going to share this one because to me, this is a gem and you can still buy it if you go on their site. You have to go on their site. I don't know about anywhere else that sells Prestige and that, I think this is Prestige, right? Yes, the company Prestige and I have shared this before. And I'm telling you, I know like when you look at it, you would think it's a bronzer and it's actually in the bronzer uh, family if you go on their site. This is in pure shimmer. So the color you'd want to look for is pure shimmer, but that doesn't look like a bronzer, does it? This looks like a highlight and I'm telling you what, it has been a nice highlight for me in many times of using it. There you go. I mean, to me, it looks nice and natural. Don't know what blush I'm going to use. My little sweet little gal here, Kathy from Beauty Care Chats, talks about her L'Oreal blushes, and I do have a couple of them here. Okay, so Tender Rose. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to go back into my palette. I'm going to first dip into the Morocco, Moroccan shade and work on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to use is this Cover FX uh, Illuminating Setting Spray. Like I said, I'm loving this. I'm so buying. I'm going to use this lip liner that I got in my BoxyCharm using a lot of boxy charm stuff. And Jeanne Bleu, I don't know how they're pronouncing that, but Jeanne Bleu, brown sugar. I didn't realize that's what it was. I'm liking it though, crazy enough. This look, I think I'm gonna use <clears throat> the shade here that I really like from Milani. It's in number 42. It's one of their cream lipsticks, I think, I believe. And it's 42 Rose a nice dark color, but I, I like this one, especially for now, now that we're into winter, almost winter, I guess. Let's try 
That lip liner went really good with that. What I'm going to add to that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my new Marc Jacobs Ch -ch Changes. Mm -hmm. Because I think I would do that, you know, for my getting ready. And I'm going to put that little bit there. Mm -hmm. So this is my final look that I did for my get ready with me. I was going to change my shirt and then I just at the last minute I got called downstairs and everything so I was needed and I just didn't have a chance to get changed into anything and honestly I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear for the Christmas get together. I did do my eyebrows off camera. After doing my look I realized I'm like Dang, I never even did because like I do do my eyebrows like a lot of times last because I use my e.l.f. brow uh, product now and then I have an eyebrow product from Winky Lux which I didn't use that one but it came again in a boxy charm. I think I used a lot of stuff with boxy charm in this video to a sense. I thank Bella for letting me join her in this video. I so appreciate that very much. You know I do Bella. I really had so much fun doing my get ready with me. Or I have to edit it. Idiot. 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 I'll have to idiot. Do you know what idiot is? I don't know neither. That's just a new word that I came up with. If you are not subscribed to Bella, what are you waiting for? Seriously. She is such a gem to watch. So I put a link down below to her video. Go ahead and subscribe, share some love, and uh, give her a nice good old thumbs up. If you did like my video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, or so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, as well as hit the bell right next to it, because then that way you'll be notified of when my videos will be uploaded and ready to watch uh, every week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself. And let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.